How's it going guys, T Carp here. And today I have a very cool video for you guys. I just stopped by Gamma Labs and I got the new G Fuel Moon Pie Collectors box. And I'm really excited to try this. It's a very different flavor. Um, from what I've heard, it took them two years to perfect the chocolate flavor. And right off the bat, the box is looking really nice. I can show you guys the back. And I really like the design on this. And we got nice to-go scooper, which is pretty cool. And then this is a shaker. The shaker looks phenomenal. I love the colors on it. And then we have the moon box, the moon pie tub itself really nice and then there's the back label if anyone wants to read that all right and then we got a nice little sticker in here I really like that sticker that's cool and it's the first vertical sticker I've seen so far I don't know if they have any other vertical stickers so today we are going to be reviewing the moon pie flavor and I'm going to be trying it both with water and with milk so let's get this tub open right. and it has like kind of a what looks like ooh I can smell it already. What well, looks like hot chocolate powder. It smells like hot chocolate mix. I have a feeling this is gonna be really good. And then let's just find our scooper. And then so first we are going to be trying it with the with the water, and then we're going to be trying it with the milk. So we're gonna use the PewDiePie shaker for the water one. Let's get a nice scoop of that. All right. Then we're going to be filling this up with 16 ounces of water. And then I'm gonna wash this out real quick, give it a nice little rinse. All right, so I just filled up both of these, this one with the milk and this one with the water, as you guys can see. And I just realized something. I believe this is the lowest calorie G Fuel mix that they have so far. I just realized that it says there's only 10 calories right there. So that's pretty cool if you care about calories. All right, so the water one first. Give it a nice, good shake. All right, so it's all shaking up. Let's give it a smell. It smells like, um, what I'm smelling is like chocolate graham crackers. Like it smells like chocolatey graham crackers. <laughs> um, pick up a little bit more. And I'm really excited to try this. Let's give it a taste. It tastes exactly as it smells. It smells like chocolatey graham crackers, but it tastes a little watered down, maybe because of the water. But I feel like it's gonna be really good in the milk. So let's get a nice shake on the milk. It sounds like foam right now. All right, hopefully that's all shaken up. It, I'm not seeing any on the bottom. Um, it's like foaming at the top. I only put 16 ounces in there. All right, you know I'll give it a nice shake for good measure. Yeah, like 
nothing's at the bottom, but there is like a little bit of particles. You can see that. So I don't know if it's fully shaken or not. Or if that's the bubbles. All right, this looks pretty good. That's what it looks like right now. All right, really excited for this. This is my first milk flavor I've ever tried, so let's give it a go. Wow. Oh my God. This is incredible. In the milk, it tastes exactly like an actual moon pie. It's like you get a bit of saltiness too, like the saltiness of the graham cracker, which is really good. That's, that's amazing. Wow, this, this is actually really good. This is the, I mean, that's the only milk flavor I ever tried, but this is probably one of my top flavors now. I am really impressed with this one. Um, as you guys should see, we got the shaker, the tub, the sticker, the to-go scooper, and huge shout out to G Fuel um, for making this flavor. This is amazing. Um, I would probably give it like, in water, like a seven out of 10 on the G Fuel scale, but in the milk, that's like a nine, nine point two. Like that's really good. Like I'm actually gonna try it again because this was just so good. Yeah, it tastes exactly like a moon pie. Like they did really well on this flavor in the milk. Um, anyways, guys, thank you all for watching, um, and I will see you in the next one.